News Nation Prime. Good evening, I'm Marnie Hughes. We begin tonight with that deadly Amtrak crash in Missouri. A passenger train hit a dump truck and then it derailed, killing three people and injuring at least 50 others at this point. Rail cars are left on their sides. Passengers have been forced to climb out. And some of them provided first aid to one another as all of this was happening. I'm going to be speaking to one of them live in just a moment. This all happened in a rural area around two hours or so from Kansas City, sending emergency crews rushing to this scene to help. Correspondent Sloan Glass is joining us tonight with the very latest on an active scene. Sloan. Marnie, this is the second major accident for Amtrak in two days. This time, three deaths and 50 injuries are being reported. After a train came head to head with a truck that was not supposed to be on the tracks, the fast moving train just not having the time to stop and derailing. We have an Amtrak derailment, multiple injuries, multiple fatalities, requesting all available units respond. Over 200 passengers aboard an Amtrak train, making the two day long train trip from Los Angeles to Chicago were involved in a fatal accident when the passenger train hit a dump truck that was blocking a public crossing. This is where derailments happen with trains. When vehicles are on the tracks, the trains can't stop. They have too much momentum. It's just physics. There's no way for them to stop when somebody is on the tracks. It happened. <laughs> Okay. The collision happened around 1242 Central Time near Menden, Missouri, about three hours northwest of St. Louis. At least eight medical helicopters responded to the scene. Three deaths have been reported, two passengers and one person from inside the dump truck. At least 50 others were injured. You can see in this video emergency responders using ladders to climb into the turned over rail cars. This is really a horrific uh, derailment if you look at it to see how many cars have actually uh, flipped on their side. And a close up of what is left of the dump truck that caused the collision. The accident taking place in a rural area surrounded by farmlands. It's an uncontrolled uh, cross buck intersection on a gravel road, uh, so no lights, no electronic control devices, things such as that. Uh, a lot of your rural intersections are that way, yes. Some injured passengers had to be taken 90 miles away for medical help. This accident coming just one day after the deadly Amtrak crash in Brentwood, California, where a commuter train slammed into a vehicle at an unmarked crossing. Three people were killed in that accident. Marnie. All right, Sloan. Ron Goulet was on that train today when it derailed, and he is joining us live tonight on the phone. Uh, Ron, thank you so much. Um, what an ordeal you've been through. Are you hurt? Oh, I'm fine. Thank you. Describe what you experienced. Well, I knew that we were coming to a rural crossing, and I felt the initial impact, and then it was pandemonium. Um, the train started rolling onto its right side. And we were all thrown around in, in the interior, people on top of people, baggage. It was complete pandemonium. And I'm very happy that I was not injured and that I could pull myself free and um, help some others. Was there any warning, Ron? Oh, no, none whatsoever. The train was going very fast. And um, there, I felt an impact, and I thought, that's not right. And then immediately we were being tossed about inside the train. So you're in one of the cars that then, as we see images, was then on its side. Um, how did you all get out? Well, I stayed with an elderly couple for a little while until firemen did arrive. And then um, they had shoved a ladder down through a window. So I climbed up onto the top of the car and uh, waited to be helped down off the train. How long did it take for, take for help to get there? I would estimate that I was in the train at least 45 minutes before I uh, got out. And what's happening in that time? Well, I was just trying to calm the people that were injured. I knew that they could not be moved. Everyone else in our car was able to get free. And I told them I would stay and be there with them and eventually a fireman did arrive and uh, tell me to go. What was the extent of some of the injuries that you saw? 
The most I saw personally, there were many people on backboards waiting to be uh, transported to waiting um, emergency medical vehicles, helicopters, and so forth. Um, that's the extent of the injuries that I saw. It sounds like, Ron, this train was full. It was completely full. They had announced that as we were approaching Kansas City and people had missed some connections. So there were extra people on our train that were supposed to get off. So it was 100% full today. Any idea how fast the train was going? Uh, I can only estimate. I do have a tracking app and we get up to about 80 miles per hour at some times, but uh, I don't know exactly. It sounds as though you've, you've been on trains before this. Yes, this was my third trip on Amtrak, and I enjoy it thoroughly. Uh, very relaxing. <laughs> until so, today, uh, until today. Until today, yes. Uh, were you traveling with a group, Ron, or were you alone? No, I was alone, going to see family in Ohio, and I've been in touch with them and um, waiting for the next step here. Where are you tonight? I'm right now, I'm still in a high school very near the accident scene. They moved everybody who was able to get on a school bus. They moved several school buses full of people to a high school here in um, Cheriton County. Um, and we have been here ever since the, uh, the arrival. There was medical triage here. And all of those that needed further attention went on to area hospitals. And it can take a lot to process what you've, you've been through. Have you been able to digest quite all that has happened yet and, and, and comprehend it all? Probably not fully. I guess when I talked to my own mother, that's when it kind of hit me today. How so? so? I'm very happy, very happy to, well, I'm just very happy to be alive. Wow. Ron, I'm glad you, you were able to talk to us tonight. Um, just give us some perspective on what you went through. It's a scary situation. I'm glad you're okay and uh, our best. Uh, where are you headed now? We're waiting for word. The uh, Red Cross and Amtrak are um, going to be telling us shortly what the next move is. Uh, they're going to take care of everyone that's here left at the school tonight. So at the moment, I don't know. All right, Ron, take care of yourself, okay? All right, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.